Oh, that's right, baby. It's time. It's time to react to SmackDown, the premiere on Fox. The top 10 SmackDown moments this Friday night. Let's do this. If you smell. What J Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to YouTube. What is happening in there with the millions and millions of J-Rock's fans? We are here to react to Friday Night Smackdown. The premiere on Fox, the big premiere on Fox. The top 10 moments. Let J-Rock take a look and see what happened on Friday night. Now, just to let you guys know, uh, got a copyright claim for a uh, WWE video I did a few days ago. So, the link to this video will be in the description box below. I'm not going to post the video in this video, get another copyright claim. Uh, you'll, I'll have some pictures up so you guys can see exactly where I am, but you'll be able to see the video if you haven't already. Uh, seen it yet uh, make sure you check that out also if you have some videos that you want J-Rock to react to the link to my Facebook fan page will be down below make sure you go check that out post the videos there and uh, if you get picked J-Rock will give you a shout out alright let's check this out This is a good match. Kevin Owens on the top rope with Shane McMahon on the ladder. Oh, I know that hurt. I saw Shane the back of his head hit that wrong. Woo, I know that hurt. This dude. I'll tell you what I think about Baron Corbin in a minute. moment was interesting. Pretty impressive victory for Strowman and company. Where's Fury going? This isn't your world, Fury. I'll tell you what I like and didn't like about this part in just a second. Stay. One 
last gasp for KO. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, Shane trying to hang on for dear life. Oh, and a power ball onto the ladder. This match should have been like on a, a pay-per-view event. But whatever. Oh, this was shocking right here. In like 10 seconds. Bam! That that made sense, right? I didn't I couldn't see Kofi beating Brock. Like how you gonna sell that? You'd be killing Brock's uh sting. So that made sense. Now this moment right here. O M G. Kane ain't ready to, to, to be in a wrestling ring, but you fight now. So, obviously the biggest moment of the night, Cain Velasquez, Brock Lesnar. Was not expecting that, all right? When he beat, uh, when he beat Kofi in like, what, five, ten seconds? I looked down at the clock, I'm like, they got about five, six minutes left. They, go, they can't have another match. Like, this is the main event. Like, what's about to happen? So, I'm sitting there going through my brain like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? I'm sitting there thinking because I had heard some stuff about CM Punk coming back, which I don't know how true that is, if he at all will come back. But I am sitting there thinking like, what if he does come out? But then I'm also thinking like, damn, who can... I'm thinking maybe Ray might come out. Uh, somebody may challenge him. Uh, like, what's getting ready to happen? Right, because they had a couple minutes left, and then when Ray Mysterio Mutas hit off, he's like, "Okay, Ray finna try to get some retribution on Brock," and then freaking Kane Velasquez walks out. Now, obviously, the union between uh, the bond with Ray and Kane that makes sense, right? Like, you know, Brock, big big guy, beat up his, you know, Ray's son, beat up on Brock, and so Kane, look, you guys. The video uh, the met on, on YouTube between Kane and Brock, right after this went off the air, I think the video got like 10 million views when, when Kane beat Brock in the UFC. It, it, I mean, it went up. I mean, good God. I know because I went and searched for it, so that's how I know. But anyway, yeah, he, yeah, he whooped Brock ass in, in one round. Ref had stopped the fight. Brock was getting towed up. Toe up. Now, I'm sure Brock probably thought, like, why you stop? I could keep going. Whew. Brock was on the ground. I mean, Velasquez was on top of him with the hammer fist and just with free shots. 
Brock couldn't block nothing. Brock was just getting, ooh. Yeah, so I think the ref did him a favor. I'm sure Brock would have liked to keep going. Uh, Brock ain't finna quit. You just got to knock him out. Like, he ain't finna just take no L because you stopping the match. But anyway. So I got why they that made sense. That was a big that was a big way to you know to cap off the show, to end it, uh, because it was an OMG moment for sure. Because nobody, especially me, wasn't expecting that. And I'm usually pretty good sometimes with predicting a lot of the stuff uh, that's getting ready to happen. But yeah, I didn't see that coming. Um, Baron Corbin. This is no slight on him. Because I'm sure he's simply doing what, you know, the creative team and everyone's telling him to do. But man, dog, they done jack your character up all the way. I Yeah, you're the king of the ring and they're trying to go that direction. No. Here's why it didn't work with Baron Corbin. And one of the things I've noticed is that there are bad guys, but there are tough guys who become bad guys. Right? When Stone Cold came in as the ringmaster, he was trying to be a bad guy. But that didn't work. He went from being a bad guy to being a tough guy. When he became a tough guy, that's when the tough guy became a bad guy who eventually would become, you know, a, a baby face, a good guy. Baron Corbin, to me, I was starting to really gravitate towards his character. He had the long hair, the long wolf persona, you know, the tough guy mantra. You know, he didn't talk a lot, which he didn't need to. He would just, he would got straight to the point. You keep talking to me like that, I'm going to punch, I'm going to knock your teeth down your throat. Like, that was working for him. Now, he, I'm not saying he's, you know, the rock on the microphone, like, who is? But he was good enough. Uh, but then he shaved his head. Then he went the whole corporate route, the, the Constantinople or whatever it was. He was finna be. No, th this ain't working. All right? Baron Corbin just need to go back to just whooping ass. Damn all the fans. Damn talking to nobody. Go out, beat a brother down, and leave. Like, that's what he needs to do. And But now, I don't really know where they're going with his character. Even if he wins a belt, it's like, so what? Big deal. Like, anyway. Um... Who else was on there? I'm trying to think. The whole match with Eric Rowan and Roman Reigns was all right. The Kevin Owens and Shane match, I thought that could have been like at a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. What not, what not, but no, that could have been a match on the pay-per-view. Um, the Tyson Fury thing. I like that. I like the whole element because, you know, Tyson's, you know, he's a, he's a legitimate tough guy, right? He's a boxer. He's a fighter. He's a champ. Here's what I didn't like about that segment. The only thing I didn't like about it was I didn't mind Braun challenging him. Why are you smiling, though? Like, you're letting me know this is a game. No, bro. I need Braun Strowman talking mad noise to Tyson Fury. You want to get these hands, too? You can come get these hands. Shut up. You won't get these. And he, and then what I also needed, I, I didn't need people just holding back uh, Tyson Fury. I needed some folks holding back Braun too. I needed Braun talking mad noise behind everybody saying you can come get these hands. Like that would have added some more heat to that. That would have poured a little bit more gasoline on that. But he's standing there smiling like, like, no, no. Right, you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to sell the intensity of something. You can't smile, that uh, at least not then. You can't smile right then. But I like that moment. Be interesting to see what happens on Raw. Obviously, um, Charlotte beating Bailey. Why are they trying to make Bailey a heel? Okay, if you're gonna make her a heel, you gotta give us a new interest music. Okay, then I'm a hugger. No, that's not gonna fly. You can't be a heel and hug folks. Okay. Uh, and she they have to change her persona around a little bit. She smiles too much, you know. Like, no, can't can't do that. The rock returning to me was probably the 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 it I'm gonna say it's the number two no, biggest thing of the night. Only because Kane Velasquez was 
Nobody saw that coming. We all knew The Rock was coming back. It was just a matter of was it going to be at the beginning, the middle, towards the end. We knew that. But, yeah, that was number two. Good to see him. Obviously, he's not in ring shape because he was huffing and puffing. You could tell. Uh, at least I could. Uh, when he got back on the microphone, he was like, All right. If you swear, hey, 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 what the rock is. Now, he ain't in ring shape. Right, the only way to get in the ring shape is to be in the ring. So he's in shape for you know a fifty-year-old guy, but still, he wasn't in ring shape. But overall, I thought the uh, the the thing. Apparently, the Undertaker said on Twitter. Somebody asked him why you didn't show up, and apparently, from what I saw on Twitter, um, he said he wasn't needed. So okay, we'll leave that alone. But. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. But, oh yeah, and Kofi, listen, that match should have went five seconds. I like Kofi. Good dude. Power, positivity, all that. He shouldn't have been in the ring with Brock Lesnar longer than 10 seconds. Like, if you're really trying to sell Brock as being the conqueror, the beast, as much as I like Kofi, no. You can't last in the ring with Brock. You can't make this a match. Like, oh my God, who's going to win? Like, no. This match needed to end like it did. Period. Point blank. The end. But that was uh, J Rock's thoughts on WWE SmackDown. If you appreciated J Rock's reaction, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. J Rock is trying to get to 1 million subscribers and he cannot do it without you. Also, make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Until next time. If you smile, no, no, let me do it like The Rock did it. If you smile, la 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 la, what J Rock is.